watching. Today is going to be a chit chat get ready with me prom edition. I know a lot of you ladies that are still in high school have prom coming up if it hasn't happened already and I figured I would film a video for you all. So this look I'm going to be using my NYX glitter. I've never used glitter before in a look and I just thought prom was a perfect opportunity for me to use this glitter and I'm also going to be using my BH Cosmetics palette for this look. Now I've already done my eyebrows to save time on this video considering it's going to be a chit chat get ready with me and my last video I think was about 30 minutes or so and so I'm just trying to cut down my videos time wise. But if you want to see how I achieve my eyebrows, I have, I'm pretty sure the same routine in all of my Get Ready With Me videos. So go ahead and look at those videos for that routine, and we're going to go ahead and jump right in. Let's start with. So I'm going to use a more of a purpley pink shade. And we're going to use this as our transition color in our crease. So we're just going to pop that in our crease. And blend. So my video that I filmed on my quick weave tutorial seem to be pretty popular and just to let you ladies know I have a lot more hair tutorials coming but I just need some more supplies I think I'm gonna do a big tutorial in how I make my first wig and I also want to make a tutorial on how I install my wigs now keep in mind that I just started wearing wigs and I only have one right now. So it's definitely beginner friendly. And so that's gonna be an upcoming video. And I also plan on filming a video with my husband later today on how we met and also maybe a how well do you know me tag so definitely stay tuned for those videos coming up I'm not really sure actually why my quick weave tutorial got so many views but it did, it got almost four or 500 views and my other videos don't even have half of that. So I'm definitely gonna keep up with those hair tutorials for you ladies. Now all I'm gonna do is go in with a lighter pink. I believe this is just a shade of lighter. And all I'm gonna do is apply that in the outer corners and like I said in my BH Cosmetics um, review these colors are super pretty but I really wish they didn't smell like this like they smell awful but I will say I can't find a shadows well I haven't found shadows up to this point that I have such pigment so I really hate the smell but I'm definitely gonna keep using these palettes just for the color payoff have primers I would probably recommend to put on a primer before but I don't have a primer with me right now so 
I skipped that step. And also, I've already moisturized my face with my Cetaphil, as always, that's why my face looks so shiny. So, right now I just have those colors built up, if you can see. Next, I'm going to take a more of a shimmery purple with a more of a red undertone and pop that into the middle. And this is just going to be the color as close to the glitter as we have. And we're actually going to pop the glitter right on top of this color. I really wish this palette's kind of stuck. Some more products that I'm thinking about trying out are the. Um, I still need to purchase the K pop line from Kurochi, and I also just want to explore foundations and things because I have used the same foundation in every video, and I know that. You ladies will probably appreciate some more tutorials on some different brands so I am getting to that as well now, all I'm doing right now is applying that same shadow that we placed into the middle of our lids and applying it underneath our eyes just to keep everything really bright and really really pink So next, I'm going to take my NYX Glitter Primer, I'm just going to put this on one of my flatter brushes, and this primer I've had a lot of hype with, so this is just gonna make sure that our glitter stays on all day long it doesn't move anywhere so I'm just gonna pack that into the middle where we just applied that lighter shade and I've seen a few other uh, reviews on this NYX glitter primer and it's been pretty hyped about so it will work out. So now we're going to take our glitter and just apply that where we just applied our primer. Glitter is so pretty. I definitely want to get more in different shades. It just really sets off the entire look. I mean, it's glitter, so. This glitter is also pretty buildable. So we're just going to continue to build that glitter up. So tell me what you guys, how your guys' prom went. If you have had prom already, if you're going to have it this weekend. I love hearing feedback from you ladies. So definitely leave a comment below about how your prom went. Or even a photo of your dresses. I just love prom. Like I really wish I was still in high school so I could go. <laughs> My problem my senior year was alright. Um, 
the guy that I ended up going with wasn't the best of ideas. Um, I wish I had gone with somebody else, but it was still a fun time with all my friends. And then my junior prom was pretty fun, actually. And my sophomore year prom was my first prom and I remember being so excited going to prom as a sophomore. But the thing is that my date didn't go to my school so I didn't know anybody but I definitely made some friends when I went and it was a lot of fun. So we have that glitter build it up and I think I want some more dimension in this look so I'm gonna take a, I'm not sure if I should go with a darker purple or if I should go with black, but I think I'm just gonna go with the purple to be safe. And not, I'm not taking too much of it. And I'm really just putting it in my face. Another tutorial I filmed yesterday was of how I style my natural hair when I put it up. I'm not sure how the footage came out though because I was swimming in my bathroom so the lighting is never, you know, what I want it to be. But I still haven't edited that video so I'm going to see how it turned out and hopefully it turned out good enough for me to upload it. So, I'm still so shocked at how pigmented these colors are though, like, I barely used any of that shadow. So, so pigmented. And also, I did find out that if you wash your brushes with like a... brush cleaner specifically for brushes, the makeup doesn't necessarily stay on the brushes with the BH Cosmetics palette as I said in the review, but you definitely need a brush cleaner to achieve that. So if you don't have a brush cleaner and you're trying to purchase BH Cosmetics, you definitely need to get one before you do. So, right now I'm just going to apply the lightest pink into my inner tear ducts. I'm just going to brighten, this is just going to brighten everything up a little bit and add more of a gradient effect to this look. Alright. So, since this is a pretty like bold look, I don't really think I need a wing in my liner, so I'm just gonna apply a small, small line on top of this with my elf liner, of course. So, I've seen a lot of story time videos on YouTube lately, and I love watching them. And my life is definitely is not as crazy as some of the people's videos that I've seen, but I do have some stories that I would be willing to share if you guys want me to start doing story time videos. Let me know down below in the comments and I'll definitely make one for you guys. Alright. 
So the look is pretty much done. It's really, really pretty. Definitely a prom look. I wouldn't wear this on a regular basis, but that's just me. If you wanted to wear this on a regular basis, you totally could. All I'm gonna do is apply some mascara before I apply my lashes. And also, I did change the lighting in my videos. Shout out to my husband for setting that up for me. But I really hope you guys can tell a difference because I know the lighting makes a huge difference in the quality. So if you can tell the difference, so let me know in the description down below. So next we're going to apply some lashes. Um, let's see. You guys can see. These lashes aren't as bold as some of the lashes I've used in my videos previously. But that is because this look is pretty bold on its own. So I figured I would use some dainty lashes. So, yes. I'm actually really excited to film this video for you guys. I was really excited because anticipation in high school you know it's like the only thing you look forward to while you're in school so if anyone's wondering what kind of lash glue I use it's this and I this packaging says best seller worldwide no. I believe it's the best selling worldwide, okay? Like, I bought this lash glue not too long ago, and I've tried a ton of different ones because I don't appreciate my lashes falling off halfway through the day or having white glue next to my lashes, you know? So, I would highly, highly recommend this lash glue. You can probably find it online search cream lash glue probably find it I, okay so I've been wearing my hair in my like, ponytails a lot lately and when I do that it means that I need to buy new hair but I haven't really decided what look I'm gonna go for next I honestly I used to have blue hair and I was so in love with it. I got so many compliments on it and it was just so different. And so I think I'm going to go with the color next. Maybe like gray or blue again or pink or green. That might be a little bit extreme for y'all but I just love experimenting with hair colors. So if I do end up doing that color. I'll try my best to videotape the process and my installation and all that. But I haven't decided if I'm going to make a wig or install my hair like I did in my last installation video. So If you're interested in seeing that, definitely leave a comment down below. And let me know. And just to let you ladies know, I really appreciate your feedback. I've gotten emails and um, just a lot of feedback. And that's what keeps me making these videos, you know? I'm not doing this for myself, you know? I already know how to do all this. 
this is for y'all so keep the feedback coming and I'll keep the videos coming so just to let you ladies know you're definitely appreciated Another thing about these lashes that I like a lot is that the the uh, band that you apply it with is really thin so when you look down when you're wearing these lashes you literally can't tell that you're wearing lashes whatsoever. And that's definitely a plus because some of the bands on lashes are like huge and I'm just like, girl, I can't work with these lashes, okay. So we're pretty much done with the eyes. I just need to highlight a little bit. And to highlight, I'm gonna use my Too Faced palette. And I'm using the color Butter Pecan. This is a really great highlighter. It's not too, white you know like when your highlighter is too white well if you're a woman of color you know what I'm talking about but this highlighter is like a little bit more of a gold and my undertone in my skin is yellow so a gold highlighter is definitely what I need So, um, I have a birthday coming up in May, and I'm planning on asking for, hi baby, <laughs> um, <laughs> what? I can't, I can't watch. No, you can't look at me, huh? <laughs> okay, so, anyway. I'm planning on asking for maybe like a gift card or something to Sephora because, you know, I need some more variety here on my tutorials, so hopefully I can get that done. So all I'm using is my Holy Grail concealer. This is the same concealer I've been using. and. I'm going to apply some mascara to my bottom lashes, but I never do that before my concealer because then my lashes and my concealer tend to blend and it's just a mess. So that's a quick tip for. And on Mondays, I think I'm going to start doing Makeover Mondays and request for some models on my Facebook page so if you haven't already add me on Facebook if you're interested in being one of my models because I think that'd be really cool you know showing different face shapes and different skin tones and everything like that just to widen up my variety and I have been a lot more interested in doing clients lately, so I think that'd be a lot of fun. So if you are interested, you could add me on Facebook or Instagram and slide into my DMs and let me know if you want to be one of my models in these upcoming weeks. I plan on doing that probably about two or three weeks down the road. Once I have um, my lighting better set up and things like that, and so, yeah. so I'm just taking my black opal concealer. I'm sorry, a foundation. This is the same foundation I use pretty much every single day, and. Just gonna apply that to the lower half of our faces where we don't want a highlight. And 
if you are a woman of color, I would definitely suggest Black Opal. They have so many different shades with a lot of different undertones. And if you are a woman of color, you know how much that's appreciated. No one likes going up into the store and having trouble finding their shades. So that was a struggle of mine for quite some time. And it is still a little bit of a struggle, honestly. I would rather mix my foundations anyways, but if you want to find your shade super, super easy, I would check them out online. Alright. <clears throat> so now we look a little crazy. We're going to blend this out. I'm just going to take a damp beauty blender and And since this look is for prom and for girls who are still in high school, I'm actually probably going to skip contouring for this look just so that it's a little bit more friendly for my younger viewers because I know your mom will probably don't want you to contour. So. Because that definitely adds, you know, to the look. So I'm going to skip that step and just add some blush once I'm done setting all of this. But one thing I think I will do is make my highlighter a little bit brighter. Just so that we're really glowy for this look. So that your day can't miss you, okay? Oh, also I forgot to mention this. I've, um, I don't think I've ever said where I lived on my video. But I live in Colorado, so about, um, if you're interested in being a model for me, make sure you live in Colorado. So all I did was just add um, some of my Cream Contour Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Medium. And I'm using the lightest shade just to make my highlight pop. Right. I'm looking all real white. Real white. color back since we're not contouring and I'm using the infallible pro matte 16 hour powder I do like this powder I think it's really comparable to a high-end powder since it's pro matte and it really is because as you can see my skin is really shiny and that's just because I lean towards more oily skin than anything, but I'm not like a super oily. I'd say I'm about in between some days more so than others. I also see the fill I put on my face. 
probably doesn't help that situation. But it definitely moisturizes and that's what I need, so. If you're watching this and you're about to go to prom, make sure your face is blended. Because you don't want your day showing up at your doorstep and you got, you know, your cute little lines. So. Also, I would recommend a setting powder. I'm sorry, a setting spray, which I do not have right now, but I would recommend the, uh, well, I actually like the NYX setting powder, and I like the, I think it's, oh, oh, the Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus spray. That stuff is amazing. I definitely need to repurchase that. That's probably my favorite. But if you're not trying to spend, you know, all that much money, then the NYX one is a nice alternative. So, what I usually do is apply my e.l.f. setting powder to the jawline as well. And since we're not contouring, I'm not going to skip this step because this is going to give us a contour without contouring. And it's really just carving out our jawline. Orgasm by NARS. This color is so pretty. I don't know if y'all can see that, but. <coughs> Excuse me. Thanks, babe. This is just gonna add life back into our face from all that setting powder and give us color back into our face. And this has a real shimmery look to it, so I'm just gonna apply it where I want shimmer. So go ahead and do now is apply some mascara to my bottom lashes and I'm trying to think if I should add a liner to my bottom lashes. What? Can you go to prom with me? Yes, of course. You're so cute. So say yes. Sex. So that was my adorable husband. In case anyone was wondering, <laughs> I got asked to prom. So your girl's going to prom after this, okay? So if you thought this was some sort of joke or something, it's real. Here we go and y'all just saw. <laughs> and I almost forgot lips. But since this look is really, really pink, we're just gonna go along with the pink and use our soft matte lip cream in the color Mylon. This is a really pink color. 
as you can see. because this is a really pink. A little bit more pink than I had expected. So I'm using my studio gear in the color natural. I don't know why it says natural though, because it's not a natural color. Focus it on the outside so that it's kind of that gradient effect. Or I guess ombre, this is called an ombre lip. Just so it's not so crazy. It doesn't take the effect away from your eyes. This is the finished look. I really hope you ladies enjoy this prom edition and I will be back with a video soon. If you haven't already, make sure you check out my last tutorial on my purple smoky eye and I will see you guys next time.